in continuation to the previous lectures in this lecture also we are going to prove something on matrix and matrix spaces okay here we are given that d is a metric on any space x any set x and we are asked to prove d1 is also a metric on x okay d is defined to be a proper metric that is it was a mapping from x cross s to the set of all non negative real numbers satisfying the conditions that d of xy is non negative and d of xy is zero if and only if x and y are same okay the second condition was d of xy is same as that of d of yx that is it satisfies the non negative uh, sorry symmetry okay the third one was the triangle inequality that is d of xy is smaller than or equals d of x is it plus d of is it x these results are true for all the elements in x okay this is the given information with this we are defining a new thing that is d1 okay d1 of xy is going to be d of xy upon 1 plus d of xy we need to prove this is also a metric on x okay first of all let us uh, let us verify that this is a valid mapping on x cross x because okay here we are going to take two entries okay that two entries is depending on the entries that is applied in the mapping d so this is a valid one okay now let us try to check the other properties that is these properties to say this d1 is a metric first of all what is this okay here we can see that this is a non-negative quantity the numerator is a non-negative quantity and in the denominator we have a non-negative quantity added with one therefore it is going to be a non-negative quantity and the first half of the first condition is verified now let us take that d1 of xy d1 of xy is zero if d1 of xy is zero this tells me that d of xy upon one plus d of xy is zero okay this is zero that tells me that d of xy is zero because the denominator cannot be zero right now if this is the case then using this idea we can say that this implies x and y are same and if x and y are same then that also gives me this if d of xy is 0 then i can say that d of xy upon 1 plus d of xy is 0 and this implies d1 of xy is 0 right next the symmetry that is d1 of xy is nothing but d of xy upon 1 plus d of xy okay using the second condition of this metric we can write this as d of yx upon 1 plus d of yx and this is nothing but d1 of yx this proves the second condition to be a metric the third one that is we need to prove the triangle inequality for which let me consider okay let f of t to be 1 uh, t upon 1 plus t where t is a non-negative real quantity now we are trying to say this is an increasing function of t for which uh, let me take if t1 is smaller than or equals t2 okay if this is the case and i am going to consider f of t1 minus f of t2 what is it it is t1 upon 1 plus t1 minus t2 upon 1 plus t2 and the simple calculation on this is going to give you t1 minus t2 upon 1 plus t1 times of 1 plus t2 okay here since t1 and t2 are non-negative quantities the denominator part is non-zero okay and is positive now the value of this quantity depends on the numerator here we have taken t1 less than or equals t2 therefore 
T1 minus T2 is smaller than or equal to 0. Hence, this is smaller than or equal to 0. And this gives you f of t1 minus f of t2 is smaller than or equal to 0. That tells you f of t1 is smaller than or equals f of t2. We started with t1 less than or equals t2 and we proved f of t1 less than or equals f of t2. And this clearly tells us that this f is an increasing function. Okay. Now we are going to apply the same to get the triangle inequality of this case. Let me erase this part. Okay. Now, uh, let me have uh, this here so that uh, we will we will have to make use of these ideas as well. Okay. In the place of T1, what I am going to do is that I am going to substitute this one because this is a non-negative quantity. In the place of T2, what I am going to do is that T of D of X is a plus D of is it y. This is a sum of two non-negative quantities, hence it is also a non-negative quantity. Now, substituting in this, what are we going to get? We are going to get d of xy upon 1 plus d of xy is less than or equals uh, d of x is it plus d of is it y upon 1 plus d of x is it plus d of is it y. Okay. Now, this the numerator has two parts, therefore it can be written as d of x is z upon 1 plus d of x is z plus d of is it y plus d of sorry is it y upon 1 plus d of x is z plus d of is it y. Now with a simple mathematical idea we can establish a triangle inequality for this case okay as of now have this to be some star okay now consider this one x plus y plus z is to be compared with x plus y where these x y z are non-negative reals okay if this is the case this will be bigger than or equals to this right suppose z it is zero these are equal Suppose is it is some positive quantity, this is going to happen. Okay. When we take the reciprocal of this, 1 plus, sorry, 1 upon x plus y plus z is smaller than or equals 1 upon x plus y. Right? This is going to happen. So, we are going to use this idea in equation star. That is, in this place, consider this to be x and this to be y and this to be z ok so this is going to be d of x z upon 1 plus d of x z ok when considering here we shall consider this to be this to be the x and this to be the z and this to be the y ok then we will get d of z y upon 1 plus d of z y Right. This tells me what d1 of xy is less than or equals d1 of x z plus d1 of z y. And this proves the triangle inequality for this problem and this completes the all the requirements to promote this d1 as a metric on x. Okay.